In August of 1945, the city of Hiroshima was destroyed in about nine seconds by a single atomic bomb. The man responsible for building the bomb was a gentle and eloquent physicist named J. Robert Oppenheimer. J. Robert Oppenheimer was the man who made the bomb. The truth of the fact is in the history of the city of Hiroshima, Nagasaki. In the year 1945, you may well ask why uh, uh, people with a kind heart and humanist feelings, why they would uh, go and work on weapons of mass destruction. ヒロシマ・ナガサキの前にのどこでも大陸都に呼び出すことができます。例えば、弟の物理学者フランク・オッペンハイマーが、マンハッタン計画について改装しているところを見てみましょう。No one said, ah, well, the main thing, it doesn't matter now. We all kept working, and it wasn't because we understood the significance against Japan. It was because the, the machinery had caught us in its trap, and we were anxious to get this thing to go. Commentary に切り替えると、歴史を映画化する場合の難しさについて、ジョン・エルス監督や、B ・ルビー・リッチ、そして歴史家のマイケル・レノブの意見を聞くことができます。映画とコメンタリー、どちらの画面もフルスクリーンで見ることができます。The moment at which the reliability of eyewitnesses comes to crisis in this film is when Frank Oppenheimer attempts to recall his brother Robert's first words following the atomic blast at Trinity Site. God, I, I wish I could remember what my brother said, but I can't. But I think he just said it worked. And God, I wish I could remember what my brother said, but、um, I can't. Or... But I think we just said it worked. That statement of Frank Oppenheimer's introduces a doubt that should resonate across the whole of the text. ご自分の手で目の前に呼び出すことができるのですその上登場人物全員のバイオグラフィー映画に収めきれなかったインタビューのテキスト軍と FBI の資料など人類初の原爆実験の真実の姿を浮き彫りにしていきます広島・長崎の前に歴史の中に封印された瞬間を語る衝撃的な証言集です